Hey everyone, Jamie here from technicalcafe.com. Welcome to your sixth Java tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about the array data type in Java and how it can be useful for when you're creating uh, Java programs or perhaps you're working with data uh, like numbers, strings, names, things like that. So what is an array? Uh, if you recall from our first few tutorials, we were talking about variables such as ints, uh, strings, doubles, things like that. Uh, you'll, you know that we can create a variable by saying, for example, int my int and assigning it a value. So here we just created an integer variable called my int and assigned it the value of 10. However, let's say we want to also assign the value 20 to the same my int variable. So we have two values assigned to it. Uh, if we were to go ahead and say int my int and say 20, what we would do, what we end up getting is a duplicate uh, local variable um, error. And so we can't do that. We can't have two values assigned like this by declaring and defining the variable twice. What if we were to go my int equals 20? We wouldn't get an error here, but what's going to end up happening is that this original my int, which is equal to 10, is going to be overridden by this my int, which is equal to 20. So we're just going to be setting this my int to 20. So we don't have two val values stored in the same variable. We just have one, and it just changed. So this is where an array comes in handy, as an array is a data type that's similar to a variable, that, but it only it's different in that it can hold multiple values. So let's go ahead and learn how we can go about doing that. So in this example, we're going to be creating an integer array, and we're going to be saying that it can hold, let's say, five values. So let's go ahead and start creating that. So we're going to say int, just like with a regular variable. Uh, and to denote that it's an array, to tell the compiler that we're creating an array, all we need to do is create a set of um, square brackets. So int uh, square brackets, which just means int array. And we're going to give it a name. So we'll say my array. And so now let's go ahead and assign it some values. And since we're going to be assigning it a set of values, we're going to use a set of curly brackets. And this just denotes that we're assigning multiple values to the array here. So int array, my array equals, and let's just give it some numbers. So we'll say 1, comma 2, comma 3, comma 4, comma 5. So we just created an array called int array, my array, and then we assigned five different values to it. So what these um, different values are actually called within the array is called indices. Uh, so we have five indexes or indices uh, stored within this int array called my array. And in computer science and programming, um, most things start with zero instead of one. So this is actually index zero, uh, index one, index two, index three, and index four. So we have five in indices, uh, but they don't go from one to five, they go from zero to four. So that might take a little bit of getting used to if you're not uh, used to programming and dealing with arrays and stuff like that. So just remember, start with zero and go up to uh, whatever the value of the array size is, mi minus one. So zero to n minus one, if you will. Um, so let's go ahead and say we want to access one of these values in the array. So what we can do is say my array, and just like we did up here, we're going to use a set of uh, square brackets. And let's say we want to access the first value in here. So we want to access this one and print it out to the screen. So we'll say system dot out dot print line. And we're going to print out the value of my array, the first index. So we're going to say zero for the first index. So let's go over here and compile this and save it and run it. And so we print it out to the screen one, which is the value of the first or zeroth index within the array. Let's say we want to print out this four. So we just count up zero, one, two, three. And the third index is the four here. It's a little confusing, but once you do it a couple of times, you'll get used to it. We'll end up printing the four. So this is how you can go about printing data that's in an array. So let's go ahead and actually create another array and learn a second way to set up an array. So what we're going to do is create another int array, and we'll call it uh, we'll call it my value. So int array my values equals. And instead of defining a list of predefined things, let's say we don't know what's going to end up going into this array. Uh, perhaps we're collecting user data and they're going to input it by typing it in. Or let's say we're collecting it from a file to parse it and maybe, I don't know, maybe it's being used for research or something like that and we're going to gather statistical data. Um, what we can do is create an array of X number of values and just we can just put them in later. So what we can do is say int uh, array my values equals new and we're going to say int in a set of square brackets here. And within these square brackets, we're going to tell it how many spots we want to have, how many indices we want. Uh, so let's say we want to create an array with um, three indices. So we're going to say int array my values equals new int with three spots, with three indices. And we're just going to end that with a semicolon there. So just like with the first array here, um, we can go ahead and access these indices by using uh, the notation. So my values, and then we're going to assign uh, put a set of brackets there to indicate that we're dealing with an array. 
Uh, and within these brackets, we can tell, tell it which uh, indice, uh, which index rather we want to use. So let's say we want to put something in the first index of the my values array. We can do that by saying my value zero, and just like with a regular variable, you can assign it a number. So let's say we want to assign it the number uh, 100. So my value zero, or the first index, is equal to 100. So let's go ahead and assign the rest of them. There's three of them, so let's say my values one equals 200, and the third one, my values two equals 300. So again, just uh, it's good to pay attention to the fact that uh, arrays start with zero. So we have three spots in the array, but they're zero, one, two instead of one, two, three. So that may take a little bit getting uh, getting used to, but uh, you'll get used to it pretty quickly once you start using arrays. So for example, let's say we want to go ahead and print um, the second indice or the second index rather of the my values array. So we say my well, system dot out dot print line my values one. And what this is going to do is it's going to end up printing uh, the second index of the my values array. So the my values one is what's going to get printed out. And it should print out 200. So let's come over here and print. So we have four and 200. So this is um, what's printed out in the third index here and what's printed out in the second index uh, within the my values array. So this is basically how you go about creating arrays. Um, oftentimes you'll use a loop to fill up an array. So you don't have to go through and manually type in. Uh, the values like this, especially uh, if you have arrays with, I don't know, 100, 200, 300, a couple thousand indices, something like that. Uh, you don't want to go ahead and do this uh, by hand because it'll just get monotonous. Um, you can also, for example, store array values in variables. So we can create an int variable. So int my int. And what we'll do is we will add the value of whatever is in um, the my array array. So we'll say my array, and let's say number three. And we'll go ahead and add that to uh, the my values array, and we'll say number two. And this will end up being my int. So let's go ahead and print out whatever these two values are. Uh, so my array three, so zero, one, two, three is going to be four plus my values two uh, is going to end up being two hundred and four, if it, my math is correct. Oh, 304. So what we have here is uh, basically the uh, sum of whatever is in my array three. So my array three, zero, one, two, three is four. And then we have whatever's in my values two, so zero, one, two, so 304. Uh, so you can go ahead and play around with the arrays. Uh, just know that it's basically a variable that can hold multiple values. Uh, and it proves useful for when you're dealing with, uh, you know, multiple uh, amount, multiple values to be stored in one variable. Um, such as names, ages, stuff like that, if you're processing um, numbers and things like that. So if you have any questions, feel free to post them below. Uh, you can tweet them to me, twitter.com slash jamiemcg, uh, twitter.com slash technicalcafe. And as always, thank you for watching.